Hey guys, it's Trey back again with another video. And in today's video, I want to answer a request that I got about adding tabs to our tab view. So if you haven't seen the video where we created our tab view, um, check the link in the description or click the card up above and you will be able to get up to speed on where we are in this uh, tutorial series. So um, what they wanted to be able to do was like basically add a button that you can click and it will add a tab to um, our tab view. So let me go ahead and show you guys what, where we are right now. So I'm going to start up our development server by typing in npm run start. All right. And this is where we are. See at the top, we have our tabs here and it's just showing data. So they want to be able to add like a button maybe right here is like a plus button or something. You click it and it'll add a new tab onto the side here. So in our original use case, this isn't really useful but if you have like a an application where um somebody wants like is typing something up or you got different forms or whatever that you want to fill out you might want to um add a button to add a tab or something like that so we're not going to do all that we're just going to use what we have here and i'm gonna, just going to create a dummy new tab and we'll just do that all right so i'm going to go back to our code and get started so the first thing we want to do is be able to add the functionality of editing being able to edit the tabs so what i'm going to do is at the top of here i'm going to add a new prop called editable and i'm going to set it to false to start off with so this is basically going to be the check to say hey can we add new tabs or not if this is false then you won't be able you won't even see the button to add a tab if it's true then you'll see the button to add the tab all right the next thing we want to do since we will be updating and changing these tabs we're going to have to keep track of that in a state variable so Underneath our active tab index, I'm going to add some new state. And this is going to be called all tabs because this will keep track of all of our tabs. And then we're going to set it equal to tabs to start off with. OK, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and uh, make another change to our props. So as you can see here, we have our tabs. It's coming in as an object, which we don't really want since we're if you look at our app.js file, we're passing in a array here so we want to pass make sure that this is an array um i don't remember why i did that but yeah let's change that back to being an array all right and then the next thing we need to do is update our references so anywhere that we see that we're referencing tabs we want to be referencing this all tabs now so what i'm going to do is i want to take this out i'm going to put all tabs here all right and then let's find the other places. Um, here we go, tabs right here. So we'll say all tabs. And then right here. So we'll say all tabs. All right, that should be all of the places that that happens in. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is actually create our um, button. So the button that's actually gonna allow us to click and add a new tab. So I'm gonna create a new component here. I'm gonna call it new tab button and this is just going to be a div and let's see what do i want to put in here i'll just do a plus and then let's give it a button class all right so i'm going to go create this button class because it doesn't exist yet i'm just going to go into our index.css i'm going to come down here i'm going to type uh this type out this button class so dot btn and then inside of here, we're going to have a color oops, of white. We'll have a background color of black. And let's just add a transition. It'll be the background color. And we'll do 200 milliseconds. And we'll do ease in. All right, I'm going to copy this because I'm going to do a hover here so we're going to btn dot hover and then we're going to um, set the background color to a nice gray and we'll do cursor pointer of course and then drop off that transition all right so this should be it um, let's actually add some padding to this button so we'll do padding and then we'll do 5px and 10px 
Next up, um, one more thing. I just want to add a border radius of like five pixels just to round the corners on that. All right, so that is it for our button class. Let's go back to our tab view. We've already added this class here, and this is just going to be a button that just has a plus. All right, so the next thing that we want to do is add an action for this button. So let's call it create new tab. And this is going to be the function that is run when we click on the button. So before I even write the function, let's go back up here and add the on click so we don't forget. And this is create new tab. All right. So now here, instead of creating a new tab, the only thing we want to do is add a new tab to this all tabs, right? So the first thing we want to do is get a copy of the all tab. So I'm going to say new tabs and we'll say all tabs all right the next thing i want to do is add a new tab so what we'll do this we'll say new tabs dot push and then we're pushing in a new tab so we're going to have a name of new tab and then the content i will actually create a component that's just going to be like a placeholder i'm gonna call it new tab all right so in your application, you probably want to either have a variable new tab or specify what this is somewhere else or whatever, however you want to do it. But right now, I'm just going to create a dummy one here. So I'm just going to call it a new tab. And it will be a div. And let's just put a label in here that says new tab. And then we'll put a paragraph that says, this is a new tab. All right. And that is our new tab. So we put it in here. So now we just push this onto this list. And now we're going to set all tabs to be new tabs. All right. And then the last thing we need to do here is update this um, active tab index. All right, because we want to set the active tab to the new tab. So the way we'll do this is we'll call set um, active tab index. Then we'll say, oops, this is the wrong place. I'm sorry. We're supposed to be up here and create new tab. So set uh, active tab index, and then we will say new tabs dot length minus one because it's the index that we want to get. So you know those start at zero. So that will give us the correct index all right and that is pretty much it for this the next thing we need to do is actually add this new tab button so we're going to go down here i could completely refactor this and i might do this um in a later video but right now i'm just going to do the easy way where um i'm going to add this twice in these two different places so i'm going to add a new i don't know why i didn't auto do it for me but anyway i'm going to add a new div here and this div is going to have a class name of tabs. And then let me try to get this back normal. Okay. And here we're going to add in our new tab button. So we're going to check if this is editable. If it is editable, we're going to add in oops, our was it new tab button. Otherwise, don't render anything. All right, and then we're going to do this exact same thing down here, right there. All right, so this is going to add our new tab button. Okay, so now we have our new session. I wanted to make sure I had this on click there. It is. All right, looks like we should be able to test this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our app.js file. I'm going to add in our editable property right here so i'm going to do editable and we're setting that to true all right let's go pull up our stuff up and we have an issue somewhere let's see what's going on all right so i figured out what it was it's here instead of putting these in our angle brackets you just call it like that and now we see here all right so we see this button now so if we click it it should have done it oh 
we made a mistake here in our naming right here in the new tab button this should be class name all right let's refresh all right so when i click on the button nothing is happening so let's go back to our code here all right so here in our on click what we need to do is we need to add um this into a function here so like this all right so this should actually make allow us to call the new function so i'm going to refresh there we go we hit the button new tab pops up and we have our new tab and the rest of them are still there like normal so let me get rid of that let's click again new tab so now we got two new tabs click again three new tabs all right so um i think that's all i want to do for this one i think in the next one i'll probably add a way for you to exit and get rid of the tabs but for now i think uh this video is pretty much long enough and um yeah it gets the job done for adding a new tab all right, so that's all for this one thanks for watching like subscribe to the channel and all that jazz and i'll see you guys in the next video